Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Talk with Dr. Frid. Today I'd like to talk about some lab tests that I routinely order in my practice. And I think there's a lot of interest about that based on my blogs. It's one of the most uh, read blogs on my um, website uh, is about blood testing. So I will probably do a couple of uh, series on this. Uh, but I'll uh, talk a little bit about a specialty lab that I often uh, use in my practice. And um, as you know, I don't just see patients with infections or tick-borne infections. I also see patients with uh, pans and pandas or what I like to classify them uh, as, as autoimmune encephalitis and going further talking about infections induced autoimmune encephalitis which again, as many of you know, um, is an infectious process that can trigger an autoimmune disorder that specifically attacks uh, parts of the brain and causes inflammation, in turn causing things like uh, persistent headaches, um, changes in cognition, memory problems, concentration, uh, and even psychiatric symptoms including um, depression, anxiety, paranoia. Uh, not every patient uh, appears the same. Um, uh, patients can have uh, things that are mild or severe, uh, but overall that's the pathophysiology of the condition that we address. So with that being said, there are a couple of tests that I use uh, in order to uh, diagnose people with uh, autoimmune encephalitis or pans and pandas. Um, with, uh, I want to um, proceed by saying that uh, actually, in fact, many physicians diagnose autoimmune encephalitis as a clinical diagnosis because even with all of these advanced testing, not every patient tests positive um, for specific antibodies or has uh, an abnormality on any of the testing that we order. And these patients are in fact called seronegative autoimmune encephalitis uh, cases. So um, with this introduction, I do wanna go over a test that I routinely order, uh, Moleculara uh, blood test that actually checks for four specific antineuronal antibody and then a protein um, that is uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, so the um, antibodies, in order to test positive for this test or be abnormal on this test, really the patient has to test um, uh, out of range uh, with just one out of the five things that we check for. Um, some of the uh, antibodies that we check for on this particular uh, test are tubulin, um, dopamine one and two, um, as well as um, chem kinase. And chem kinase specifically uh, is a protein that is seen uh, often in patients where uh, many of the physicians interpret it as a reactive um, uh, protein, which means that usually if that, uh, if that protein is elevated, that means um, that the patient has an active infection or an active inflammatory process going on, and it's worth uh, looking for an infection uh, in this particular case, which would benefit the patient in terms of treatment. Um, so I think uh, a molecular lab is an important test, especially if you're trying to establish a diagnosis of autoimmune encephalitis or um, if you're trying to uh, establish a diagnosis of pans and pandas. Um, and I also frequently use in my practice uh, a Mayo Clinic test which uh, is found uh, on this side. Um, and these are some more um, routine or mainstream antineuronal antibodies uh, that we test for. Usually in uh, various labs such as Quest, LabCorp, uh, or any generalized labs, one can find uh, this blood work with the um, autoimmune encephalitis panel. Uh, there sometimes have variations and names uh, that are being used, but I think uh, it can be offered in most of the tests, most uh, routine labs. Uh, and uh, these tests specifically check for um, uh, antineuronal antibodies uh, of interest such as NMDA, voltage-gated potassium channel receptor antibodies, uh, GAD65 uh, or glutamic acid decarboxylase uh, antibodies. 
uh, and some others as well, but these are kind of the common ones that uh, we look at. And again, if this uh, is abnormal, which is not very frequently in my patient population, but I certainly have patients who test positive for these um, antibodies, again, points to the fact that there is an uh, antineuronal antibody or an autoimmune disorder that's being uh, created and is affecting the brain and is triggering the clinical symptoms that are often uh, presenting as uh, psychiatric or refractory to treatment. I hope this helps uh, and see you uh, during my next uh, video.